Hi stampers, welcome to Did You Stamp Today with Amanda Mertz. Today I'll be showing you how to make a Z fold card. It opens like that. Um, using the Lighter Than Air Suite, which includes the Hot Air Balloon Bundle with the dies and the stamp set. Um, and it's a really simple fold and I hope you'll enjoy making one of your own. Let's get started. All right, the first step is you're going to need um, your scoreboard or your paper trimmer with a scoring blade. And you're going to want a piece of 11 by four and a quarter, which is a regular size piece of cardstock that's just been cut down the middle. And you're gonna score on the long side, only two scores. Like I said, this one is really simple. You're gonna score at two and a quarter, and then five and a half. And that's it. And you'll see, this is gonna be the start of the Z fold. See, it's gonna go like that. Super easy. Two and a quarter, five and a half. All right, let's get on to the next step. Okay, the first step I'm gonna suggest is use your bone folder to get yourself some nice crisp folds so it doesn't keep popping up while you're trying to work with the base. I taught this card with um, my class this past week, so I'm doing the video just so everyone can refer to it. And hopefully if you're joining me, if you're not a regular stamper with me in my classes, that you can join along. And I just want to show some other pieces that we've got. We've got um, a strip of the Lighter Than Air Designer Series paper. And this is, let me measure it out here. I didn't know off the top of my head. It's four by two. And that's going to go right there on the front of your card. And you can choose any of the patterns. I like this one just because it had um, multiple colors on it. So it kind of just gave it a little... A little pop and pulled in the other colors that we're going to be using with the inks all right glue that one down and then the second piece that we're going to do see if you can see the texture this was the softly sophisticated embossing folder that was one of the freebies during celebration celebration just ended but if you've got this one um it's a great little texture for this card um otherwise just use whatever your favorite embossing folder is and um this one is gonna fit right here and this one is measured at four by three four by three inches so it tucks right in there we're just gonna adhere that one down get some glue on the edges all right so look practically done just kidding there's a few more steps nothing too nothing too difficult the next thing that I want to show you is we're going to make the um, little clouds that are in the background of this front panel. And this is, um, it's just three and a quarter by three and a quarter square. That's just the size. You can do anything. You could do um, like a die cut circle or a rectangle, whatever you want to put on the front, but anything that fits here and, not, and doesn't stick over too much on this side so you can still fit in an envelope. So to show you you're going to need a blending brush um balmy blue ink and i used the let me get it out here the basic borders die the one with the little cloud edge and i just made a template let me pull one out i made several for my class just made a template to use just cut straight across a piece of basic white um, and that's going to be what you use to do your cloud edge so let me just see how much you don't want a lot of ink because you don't want it super dark you want to be able to see some of the white edges and you just want to go real real close to the side or the edge of the the cutout see and then you're just gonna you know kind of adjust you can go on an angle um, just kind of adjust where you are kind of go back and forth so you don't have the exact same clouds all the way across your panel and just again like real light and it kind of leaves you know you can kind of see the edges you don't need a ton you don't need to keep re-inking your blending brush too much 
if it's one that you use fairly regularly with that color, you're gonna get you're gonna get um, enough ink on it. Like I said, you just want it kind of light so you can still see the white of the clouds. And you just keep keep working back and forth and you know maybe go on an angle and just work your way all the way down. Let's see, try not to use the same pattern all the way across. And then finally, just a little bit right here. Oops, moved a bit. Good thing about this one, if it moves, you can kind of find where you were. Just right on the edge. And there we go. Just kind of finish off the bottom so there's no really stark white all the way across. So, but comes out pretty well. Some of my Stampin' Ladies actually was a great compliment when they looked at the piece and they didn't realize we were we were going to be making this they thought it was a piece of designer series paper so um whenever anything that's handmade looks like something that's printed i always think that's a pretty we did a pretty good job on it so that one all you're going to do is put it on the back of uh um azure afternoon square which this piece measures three and a half by three and a half so it's just slightly larger than the white piece we just used that one down see how it's gonna fit right in there so when you go to adhere it you just want to make sure you only put adhesive whatever you use glue dots or glue or um, tear tape or whatever your favorite snail um, tape runner you just want to make sure because you're gonna want to make sure you can move it because the whole idea is that it opens. So we've got that. We're going to set that aside and we're going to stamp our balloon and our banner um, for the front. So just got a piece of scrap, not scrap, but a smaller panel of basic white and a strip of lemon lolly. So let me find my stamps. I've got them over here. We're going to use the big balloon and then the wish big sentiment for the banner. And we're gonna use Azure Afternoon Ink. And I'm just gonna pull out my foam pad just to get a nice clean impression. You know, some people are good and get one without even needing the pad, but I just like to be safer. Oop, that one didn't come out real well. We'll flip it over and try it again. There we go, that one's better. And we're gonna do the wish big. And this one, you can stamp the sentiment first or die cut the banner and then stamp the sentiment. It doesn't really matter. But let me find my dies and we'll get those die cut. Okay, back with the dies. We're just going to die cut this big balloon and this is the banner. So it's a nice open space that you can easily line it up if you wanted to die cut it first. Then we're gonna use a piece of crumb cake to cut the basket. And then we've got a piece of Azure Afternoon and we're gonna make this little detailed cut which is gonna be used on the inside of our card. So that's just gonna give that detail on the inside balloon. So let me get those cut and we'll come back and put it all together. All right, we're back with the die cuts and we're going to put together our balloon on the front of our Z fold card. Um, we're just gonna use some dimensionals just for some added pop. Just gives the front of the card just a little something extra. So you're just gonna pop the banner up, add a couple more to the back of the balloon. just on a little bit of an angle so everything isn't too too matchy matchy straight and then for the basket uh, a little mini dimensional is the perfect size for it and then you can just slide the little bits underneath there we go and next we're going to use 
one of the twine colors that comes with this. It's Baker's Twine three color pack. And we've got Flirty Flamingo, Balmy Blue, and Lemon Lolly. So it coordinates with all the papers. And um, so it's just really pretty. And let's see, which one are we gonna do? I think in my sample, my sample we use pink. So I like pulling in a little bit of the pink because we do have a lot of blue already. So I'm just gonna tie a bow straight off the roll if I can. My fingers, I might've had too much coffee today. I always say I'm not super at tying bows. I have two boys, so I'd never had to do a lot of hair bows <laughs> or any hair bows. So my practice is really strictly on cards and sometimes they leave a little bit to be desired. Snip those off. And you can use a glue dot or just a dab of glue. I'm just gonna use a dab of glue because that's what's handy. Just tuck that one. Just on the side, maybe we'll trim off. This one looks a little long. Oops, pulled it right off, didn't I? Have to hold it and then we'll trim that, that edge just a little bit. There we go, that looks better. And for the final bit on the front, we're gonna use some of these dots. The official name is Ed Rainbow Adhesive Back Dots, and I always write down what the colors are um, so I don't have to keep pulling out my catalogs when I'm just trying to find which color is which. Sometimes, sometimes it's a little harder to tell, like the Lost Lagoon and the Pool Party, if you had one and not the other, you might be kind of like, well, which one is it? So, and it also is helpful when they do retire um, and you only have a couple left on the sheet and you're trying to figure out what would match the best to your project. So I always write it on the back. I'm going to do a blue and how about a little fresh freesia one? Because again, we've got all the colors in the designer series paper. So you can pretty much do whichever colors you want. Then we'll do a flirty flamingo one up in the corner. So that's the front of our card. So now let's get started on the back or the inside, the insert. I know a lot of people don't do an insert, but I always find that it makes the card look much more finished if you have the insert stamped to match um, and you don't just have stamping just on the colored sheet on the back. So let's see, we're going to do our sentiment for the inside and it says up up and away hooray it's your birthday so I'm gonna put that one right there and then oh, let me get my foam bits back out we're going to stamp the lemon lolly with this smaller balloon and it's a striped balloon so you can either stamp it on white and then add whatever colors you want or you can stamp one of the striped pieces onto colored and you'll get the variation in the stripes that way and then so we've got lemon lolly and i'm gonna try to get this one lined up i told my stampers i found the easiest way to line these two up is you line the bottom of the stripes up with the bottom of the stripes and where the little thing is where the basket attaches line that part up first and then kind of adjust the top because the, the stamps are curved at the top. So it's kind of a little misleading when you're trying to line them up because they do curve over. So I found and also I think the easiest way to line it up is to stand over the top. I'm going to try not to get my head in the camera. But if you line up and you can kind of see my stamps are a little dirty, but let's see how that works. Not too bad. They line up. And if you have a little off on the bottom, you're going to put that over the top with a little bit of glue. So it's not super, super needed that you'd have to re-stamp that because that will kind of cover up a little bit if you're off. But honestly, it's hand stamped. So if it looks too perfect, someone might accuse you of buying it. <gasps> Gasp, right? Buying a, buying a card? Who does that? All right. So... There we're all done with that and let's put it on the put it on the inside of our card a little bit more glue try not 
not to get any ink. Somehow I've got some ink on my fingers. It's always a mystery, isn't it, how that happens. There we go. And a really easy Z Fold card using the Lighter Than Air Suite and the um, Hot Air Balloon Bundle. You get a nice, and that's the top look. Just a fun fold. Remember, it's just two easy scores, and you can decorate the rest of it however you like. Thanks so much for joining me today. Uh, all the details of um, my ordering information can be found in the information section of the uh, this, and then my blog address is also listed, so you can come and see some other projects that I've been making. Thanks so much for joining. Have a great day.